Hi guys, welcome back to another edition of Age Graceful Soul for Eat. Well, this time I'm still in the kitchen. I just did a uh, seafood boil, but I need to fix something for the fellas. So I have in my container uh, some large pieces of fish. And these were frozen. Uh, they were left over from a previous uh, fish fry. This one is cod. And the second piece is catfish. These have been uh, unthawed and rinsed off. And so now I'm going to season them. One of my favorite seasonings I like to use uh, for fried foods is uh, the soul, soul seasoning. And I usually pick this up from Save A Lot. It really flavors your food very well. On the stove, I have about two cups of oil heating in a pan. This is gonna be pan fried fish uh, instead of deep fried. When you deep fry uh, chicken or fish, everything hits that oil at one time, so it's uh, more even and quicker uh, cooking method. With the pan fry, you fry one side at a time, so that means you have to turn it halfway through. So I'm gonna season this fish lightly on both sides. I try not to use a lot of salt in my household, just enough to give it a little bit of flavor and so that it's not bland. Uh, sometimes um, we like to use hot sauce and hot sauce has uh, sodium in it so you don't want your uh, meat to be too salty. So if you can see in here, you can see how lightly I season this fish. In this Ziploc bag, I have a combination of yellow cornmeal and flour. If you use all cornmeal, it, once it hits the oil, the cornmeal kind of like slides off or flies off your food. So if you use it mixed with flour, it tends to stick or adhere to your uh, meat a little bit better. So now uh, I'm gonna add the fish. And this is just two pieces, it's gonna be real quick. And I use my Ziploc and I shake to get it coated. And that goes by real quick. Okay, I'm gonna take this to the sink. Always try to clean up as I go. Then you can sit down and enjoy your meal. And if you fall asleep after you eat it, at least you know your kitchen will be clean at the same time. Okay, so I smell my grease. Another way I check to see if it's hot. And I know oil and water don't mix in. Don't use a lot, but just a little bit on your uh, fingers. Can you hear that uh, popping noise? My grease is hot, it's ready. And like I said, I just had just a little bit of water, or you can use flour or some of the cornmeal and drop a few grains of that into your oil. And if it starts to spatter, then you know your oil is hot enough. So now I'm gonna change the position of my camera. And let's see if my stove is visible. Yes, it is. There's my pan and I have it on a medium heat. And I'm gonna use my tongs so that I don't burn my fingers putting this fish into the oil. And I'm gonna start with the catfish first. Catfish takes longer to cook than uh, cod does, so I want that to hit the oil first. Cod is a very quick uh, cooking fish and you don't wanna dry it out. So I have my fish here and I'm just gonna lay this in the pan. And now I'll grab the piece of cod and shake the excess flour and cornmeal off. And 
I'll lay this one in my pan. Okay. And fish uh, usually takes about, I would say, five, six, seven minutes in total. So maybe about three and a half minutes each side if your oil is hot enough. So let me get some paper towel here. So when this fish is ready, I can put it on the paper towel to drain it. I have a plate here. I have two types of plates, and let me explain something to you younger ladies. This is a styrofoam plate. If you put something hot on here, it's gonna melt, and you can get oil on your countertop. The oil can run on your table. It can burn you or your children. You don't wanna use that. You wanna use a glass plate and put some paper towel on top of the plate so that when you take your fish out, the excess oil will go onto the paper towel. So while I'm cooking fish, I don't usually leave the kitchen. I stay pretty close uh, to the stove. If I leave the kitchen, it's like uh, super quick. I'm just gonna uh, watch this and I see around the edges that the fish is beginning to turn brown. When I go to flip it over, I will lift it up a little bit so that you can see the color. But I'm going for a, uh, a caramel color, golden brown, uh, on that fish. And uh, tonight, uh, the sides of the fish, since I just did a seafood boil, they can have uh, some red skin potatoes and some boiled corn. Or I also have some macaroni and cheese done. So there are some options to go with your fish. Uh, a nice uh, fresh salad is good, but I don't have salad fixings in the house at this time. What else can you cook? You can have a uh, baked potato, you can have french fries, you can have coleslaw, and you can either purchase coleslaw already made, or you can make some really quick uh, with some shredded cabbage, a little sugar, and a little white vinegar, and a little uh, salt and pepper, and um, that coleslaw comes out really good. And you can do that ahead of time and let it sit in the fridge so that the flavors kind of come together and marry. And that'll be some really good coleslaw. Uh, but there's no coleslaw tonight. So like I said, it'll be uh, red skin potatoes and boiled corn for the guys tonight. Okay, so I'm gonna step back over here and take a look at my fish. I'm gonna check this pie uh, first. I'm going to pick this up. Put the next cover up here. Put that one. Now I'm going to get the catfish and put that over. I just want to make sure that it's thoroughly done. Catfish has a tendency to be or have a gel, uh, it's going to cook it full. So you don't want that. And the tide will dry out. You want your fish to be flaky. So like I said, maybe about three and a half minutes uh, on each side uh, should be enough to pan fry this fish. So what are you having for dinner tonight? fish, fried chicken. It's the weekend. I know in a lot of uh, homes, uh, African-American homes on the weekend, it's fish, fried chicken, pizza, spaghetti, those types of dishes. I'll be making some of those. I cook uh, at least maybe three 
or four times a week, depending on how I feel. So uh, my videos of uh, different foods and how to prepare them, they should accumulate pretty quickly. I'll try to do a little something a couple of times a week until I build my library so that you guys can enjoy that library of soulful eats. Okay, I'm going to step back and just see how things are going. Just a couple of more minutes, and I might flip it one more time um, just to make sure uh, that there no wet is running out of the fish. I want everything to be nice and well cooked. This is fun. I enjoy cooking. I hope you guys enjoy watching me cook. But if you watch me uh, do makeup and hair for mature women, but I think all ages get a little bit of something out of it. Okay, I think I'm going to flip the fish one more time. Like I said, the tie does not take long. The opposite side of that tie. Probably another 30, 40 seconds. Don't want to overcook. Like, wait. Nobody wants to fry. Just want to stove down because that oil doesn't pop. When I sit down and eat or after they get their plates, I don't want to have to come back in the kitchen. Okay, if you can tell, you can almost like hear this grease is not popping as loudly as it was when I first put the fish down. That's another way that you can tell that the frying process is almost completed. I'll just give that just to be sure. A few more seconds. And then I'll be taking that fish out. And it will be time to enjoy. And I'll probably let everyone fix their own plates. I've been going all day. Time for a graceful to sit down and enjoy her dinner and relax with some new YouTube uploads. Okay, I'm going to start with the cod. I put that in last, but I'm going to pull it out first because it took me too fast. I just hold it up a little bit to get that oil to drain off. And I'm going to lay it on the paper towel. I'm going to cut my fire off so that I don't forget. Turn my handle towards the back of the stove. I don't have small children, but. I have like a galley style kitchen and if two people walk past at the same time, somebody might, you know, bump the handle and I don't want to clean up grease tonight. So now I'm going to take this catfish out. Try 
time to gingerly grab it and pick it up. And I'm gonna hold this over the oil. And now I'm gonna lay it right next to the cod. And now I'll bring it over so that you can see. This piece is the cod. And this piece on, over on this side is the catfish. How good does that look? Along with some uh, boiled red skins and some corn on the cob, that's a nice Saturday meal. Okay, guys, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you the next time for Age Graceful Soulful Eats. You guys have a good day. Bye now.